Good evening, and welcome back to episode 3 of our Timborn single, single District playthrough, where the flood has begun. Uh, the drought is finished, is what I was going to say there, and uh, the water is now coming back, which is good. Not the flood has begun, we're not going to flood, no, 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 everything's going to be fine, water's going to pour out, everything's going to be fantastic. Our dam over here is being built, which is quite nice. We have got a couple more lumberjacks I put in places. This should be able to be connected now, like so, haha, -ha, so our forester can get going. Awesome. You are going to prioritise doing pine tree. Um, that's the only thing you can do, but that's what you're going to do. Um, and, yeah, everything's going to be awesome. So hopefully our dam will get built fairly soon, which will be quite nice. And things like that. I have been trying to figure out how to do houses and things. In the last episode, I was like, oh, we'll probably put a house in and then a building and then I'll bits and dot them around. We're going to go for 300 beavers. That is 50 of these. 50 double shelters. It's a lot. It's an awful lot. And they're going to need access to all the well-being things and access to that. So I'm, my, my brain just been like, how can I do this? Can I build like a little a section of them? Could I build a, um, like a, I don't know, 10 lodges? And then have a campfire and a rooftop terrace nearby, and then we'll figure out things, other bits and pieces around. And, and I'm just like, it's not going to work. It's not going to work that way. What I need to do is either just embrace the fact that we're going to have a row of houses, just an absolute row of houses, um, which is going to be madness. And I'm kind of thinking of maybe putting it in the river in, in here. Um, and the reason behind Porton, or think about putting it in here, is because the, uh, the double lodges, their door, is on the second floor so if we put them like in here up against the edge then that's it that's that, that's fine and they can they can just pay so i'm kind of tempted to do that it doesn't mean that beaver's got a long way to walk to get to some of their places they're going to work in and it's not like if i put houses down here and houses up here the beavers move into the house close by for that they don't do that they're not smart enough to do that they don't they don't live close to their workplace they just it's random so that's not going to really work for us. So whatever happens, a beaver's going to have to commute, which is a just it's just a thing, just a thing that's going to happen. Um, but I, also we want this land for, for other crops. We want that so we could put it here, which could work. We could put in a, a row of um, blocks down here. Now what I should have done was a uh, not planted those. They do not want to be there. But that should be okay because these, oh, these are seedlings. Wow, these have only just been planted. Did you come all the way over here and plant them on the end? That seems bizarre. Yeah, you're over here. Why? What? Why did you do that? That's very weird. Um, but we are. We're not gonna do that. Um, in fact, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna destroy these. Things. Great. Goodbye. Come on. Because we're gonna have a, a bridge over here. Either a bridge or another dam or something. I'm not really sure. We could make it a dam because then it would be it would be a two deep, um, which would be water, and then we could pump the water out of here. And it doesn't matter if we drain the water out of our reservoir here, because we've got this here for the land, this here for the land. That's fine. And we could just have our reservoir here. Wouldn't be such a bad thing. It wouldn't be such a terrible thing to do. That would be that good. So let's 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 kind of do that. If I levy all the way across here, we're going to flood here. Hmm, it shouldn't be terrible. We don't know, we don't know. Well, let's, let's just do it. Let's just do that. Buff. And then let's just do... Like, and do another one here. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, like that. Um, and then we need to put at least six blocks in here. Somewhere for our water to flow out, and um, I am going to kind of dot them about because I want it to be spread out evenly. It doesn't matter where it is; we're not going to use it for um, uh, what's the word? We're not going to use it for power. Um, so we might run power like on this one here. We might dot some things in here and put power with this one into the reservoir. Don't know. So what if we went 
something like this. So ignore that one because that one isn't uh, ground. Ignore. Uh, we could always blow something up here and change the. We could, we could blow out this area in here and make it nice and square inside. Should be fine. So if we go two, two, one, two, like that. One, two, three. That's four. That's not going to work. We know we need six. We know we need six. So that's not going to work like that. So I want it to look look kind of nice. Look kinda nice. So let's go instead. Five. Would that work out okay? Still not sure about this one at the end here. No, we don't we don't wanna that wants to be blocked. So this is the edge of the water. Okay, so yeah, so we'll try we'll try five. We'll try five. If it doesn't work, we can always open up more in the center. Do uh path will way across it. To there. Like so. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I have got a forest in down here and I am telling it to chop down trees just in this area here, so we'll take out the ones on the path. Which would be nice. We can get rid of the ones on the path. And then uh Can you get to that one? Can't get to that one. That's it. We might destroy that tree. Shoot tree, shoot. And uh Yeah, we'll let that we'll let that clear out there. So then we'll build another dam here. Which we you are gonna be planting stuff. Yeah. Let's put in our wanna, Hello, wanna take this out? You were doing it and now you've gone off somewhere else. Why why have you gone off somewhere else? Speed up time. Speed up time. Come and destroy that. Oh, there we go. Okay. And they should build, I think from this end, because they can't reach that side. So they're going to build from this end in, which is good because that means they're going to build this uh, this side up here, which means the water when it blocks in will not flood our trees. Hopefully, 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 that's the plan. This should let water out. So this is six. This is going to be five. This one can't be four. We know it's going to be going to be five or whatever it is. So, so hopefully that'll be okay. If not, we'll have to um, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's okay. So uh, you have nothing to do in rain, which is not really surprised because you've done all the things that we need to do. Fantastic. So, let us connect that up. And we don't need to connect any of this up here because none of this um, kind of working. So let's get rid of that. You've got eight. What's this in you? So let's say, hey, would you actually um, come along? And uh, do, you, do you know what? Do you know what? Pause the game. Uh, would you be so kind as to do this? You don't mind? Oh, there's anything over here, so don't bother with that. Okay, don't worry about that. Are there trees up here? There's a couple of trees up there, but that's okay. We don't worry about that. Okay, okay. The other thing you can do as well, which I didn't really think about, um, is rather than use this lower area here, we could dam this off two levels and actually flood this whole area in here. Uh, but we don't want to go with that. What we want to do is we want to make a beeline towards explosives. And that's kind of the idea. We want, we want to try and get explosives, dynamite, the explosive factory is built. Um, that's, that's what we want to do. Now, the explosive factory requires iron, so we're a little way off that yet a scavenger flag at least in the smelter so we've got a little while to go before we get to that point but but really really I, 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 the intelligence of some of these beavers is just astounding <laughs> Uh, they chose, to, of course, they would do the bottom layer first because they have access to the bottom layer. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, yep. Don't. Oh, well, that's fine. So, go across the top now. There you go. That's fine. Um, uh, 
So, where are you? Uh, I would like you, if you would be so kind, as to prioritise doing these. Would you destroy these dandelions first before they start spreading again? And causing us all sorts of aggro and problems. Thank you. And then we want to plant pine trees in there. There we go. Okay, so we've got a lumberjack flag there. Two here. And two up here. So that should be okay. These two up here can also take out some trees up here that are going to naturally grow. I have a feeling they're going to clear this area up to here. And yeah. But that's okay. That doesn't matter. Uh, you are done. You can go. Goodbye. You have got loads to do, so you're all good. Okay, uh, I'm gonna put another um, storage down here. Oh, down here. Oh, but I'm gonna set that to uh, decide none. Um, so this is our main log storage over here for the minute, and then these ones can drop off logs in here onto their fill up. So it's be really good. Okay, okay. So we've got some beavers struggling for water. But why? Hang on, hang on. What? Why? No, 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 no. Um. Uh. No. Stop. What? Why? Oh, I bet when I broke the line here and you're no longer connected, you chose to connect to this side because it was closer. Okay. Okay, that was not intentional but fine uh okay so right then in that case what are, what are we where are we how are we doing this so so yeah um with housing as, as i was gonna say 50 double lodges is a lot now i could get it down if i use triple lodges they're the same foot space so it would be the same size um there is an advantage to the triple lodge which i hadn't really thought about before um and that is that it's triple in size uh the the double lodge is is two it's the same size as a standard lodge, two across. But the triple lodge is three across. It's still got the door on the second floor. I'm not going to buy it yet because I don't quite want it. But it's got, um, still got the the, uh, the the door on the second floor. But the advantage of that is that many other buildings are tripled as well. So, like, we have the underground storage, which is a three by three. We have the campfire, which is a three by three. The rooftop terrace is a three by two. So there are lots of advantages to using the three by three. So, hmm, I'm really kind of tempted to actually go with that instead. Uh, I'm not sure whether that would be a fantastic idea. Can we get rid of these, please? These ones are spreading. Uh, that's fine. You've got that. We've actually got five beavers spare, so I could build another builder's place and uh, do stuff with that. Which would make a little bit of sense, actually, if I built another builder's hut. I don't know where I want to build it. Meh, we're okay for the minute. I think we're okay for the minute. Uh, water storage is going to be a thing as well we need to deal with, so we're going to have to get some gears going. So I think we're going to do that. Let's unlock gears. I keep flitting around between this, that, and the other place. And we'll get some gears going as well. Uh, and also we want to get some storage going with these two as well. So let's get a couple of small warehouses running. Um... One there, and one there. Uh, nothing over this side is permanent. Um, everything is temporary, and as everybody knows, there is nothing more permanent than a temporary truck. So, yeah. Uh, you're going to store all the planks. Thank you. You're going to store all the gears. None, none, none. Gears. You put on. Thank you. Okay. Um, and what I might do, actually, before I do that, um, let's build a hauling post. Let's put a hauling post in right here. Okay, and I'm going to set this to be the lowest priority workplace. We've got 10 workers in it. Thank you. Um, hopefully that's the same as these here, so they'll go to these ones beforehand. Uh, just any any spare beavers, go work in the hauling place. Okay, right. And now the hauling place is somewhere I'm going to let golems go. Uh, the hauling place, the builder's heart, and the district centre are going to be where golems work, and wherever golems are only allowed. So uh, the, the excavator is golem only building. Um, and the terraforming station is golem only as well. So placing dirt and picking up dirt, golems only. Fine, that's fine. Absolutely fine, no problem. So, so yeah, so um, we have we have got some. You know what? I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy the triple lodge. So let me let me show you. Let's come over here, out of the way. 
Um, so we could either blow up some holes and put these in the floor or put them in here but we're not going to be able to get 50 of them in there or uh, well, it's 300 divided by 9 that's 33 of these or 50 of these the advantage of these ones as I said is that they are 3 by 3 so when it comes to like the campfires they line up nicely with the campfires and uh, put in campfires like lined up to them for instance the rooftop terraces are the same size as them so you can put one on top kind of put one on top uh, you'd have to put it around the back like that um, because of how uh, you, you can't obviously build a stair up because the door is in the center uh, but it is it, it does it's a nice size if that makes sense so you could do something like um, you know, put one there uh, put one here one here and one here put a campfire in the center doesn't really matter which way the campfire goes um, so like this have the roads come out the sides there and then you can have like a raised area above with stairs that go up either side this is one that i build that i have done before like that um, and then we do this here uh, and that will work nicely you, you've got all your places there uh, you've got 9 18 27 36 beavers in this area here and um, so um, we'd have to just build eight and a little bit of these so eight and like the odd add on to it uh, you can of course then put in the sides um, other buildings you could put in uh, like the double lodges in the corners um, if you wanted to adjust some of the things with it so that is an optional build and then if you can get up on top via um, like either well you could you could easily get up on top if you was to build this and then put a double one so I'm going to build two individual ones because I don't want to unlock load of stuff so like this and then that would be a double one at the back as well and maybe even have it come round you know do the whole whole circles it would be double it wouldn't be a single line like I'm doing here I'm just doing this for demonstration reasons I don't want to unlock the other one as well because we don't know about, about where, where we need our our science is a thing so you could do that and then on top you can put the um, rooftop terraces um, now the rooftop terraces actually allow more visitors than the the campfire does so you need more campfires than you do terrace rooftop terraces but you could put like two rooftop terraces in for instance and then water on top as well um, and then you could have like that going up either side so All around like that there we go and then beavers can still they can get up here they can come down and then you could have the uh, the path going out this way if you wanted to and in the corner you could put a a double lodge I can't think how that would work. I can't see how that would work um, due to yeah. I can't see. Let's, let's load again. I'm, I'm losing track of what's going on. Um, I've been doing this for about 20 minutes, half an hour already. Um, just trying to figure out things, putting in places. So you can put a double lodge in there. You couldn't put one here because there's no way for the beavers to get to it. Um, here you could do it because you could move the stair back. Uh, there's the entrance there. So you could do the same on this corner. Double lodge in here. And just move this stairway back to there and there. That would work. Like that. That'd be quite nice. That would that would be fine. That would work wonderful. Um, 
Yeah, can't really think of anything else that would... I mean, if you put them in here, you'd have to move the stairs out by one here because it'd have to be rotated by 90 degrees, at the very least rotated by 90 degrees, so they'd have to go there and there, which means you'd have to put these stairs out. Uh, one, which is uh, which is doable, you know. It's it's all it's all buildable. Like this, bomb bomb. That's still valid. Bomb bomb. There you go. Okay. And then beavers come down this path here. Get up on top. Can go down that path there. Go around. Uh, I don't know how they get down underneath to the the campfire. I haven't quite figured that one out. But the one that you could do with this this design particularly, and I'm I'm kind of liking this design, um, is we could blow holes where these buildings are here and lower them into the ground by one. So instead of the door being on uh, a raised bit here, it would be on ground level where this campfire is, which gives access to the campfire, which is fine. And then behind it, like you could put your storages for food and things and then build another one. So this would be three, six, nine, uh, sorry, nine, 18, 27, 36 plus 6, 12, 18, 24, 36, plus 24 is 60, so 300 divided by 60 is a nice round, you need 5 of these, 5 of these, okay, and we've got 2 Russell Terraces, 1 Camp Bar, we could put water on top, of here, because there's access to the, to, the, to the outside range, so you put water on top, um, you could, I don't know what you've put in the corners, something, you wouldn't need um, uh, monuments in each and every corner. You'd have to put roofs in in places, but that's fine. You can get roofs in. Like put a roof in each corner. That would work. Put a shrubbery on top of some of these. That would work as well because you can to, to get the bonuses from the shrubbery, uh, the decorations. So, you know, a shrub gives a bonuses. A roof gives a bonus. Um, the statues give bonuses. The things so you'd want to do all that sort of stuff this i like this i like this plan i've talked myself into this what do you think what do you think of this of building five of these five of these little self-contained areas uh, and uh, uh we could just build five in a row and do that or we could do five in like a uh, uh, like one here three and then like in a cross or in a in a dice dice pattern number five on the dice pattern with bits in between kind of like the idea of doing it in a dice pattern in between where you would put it though it's a lot of space maybe here over here um, then that doesn't doesn't do anything over here maybe we could put like one here uh, I mean, the only thing that's going to be down here is, is the mine, really. Everything else is going to kind of be up here. We've got trees down here. This might become some farmland. This might come from... So maybe... I don't know. I don't know. I kind of... I like that. I like that concept. I like I like this. It's very nice for a contains. Particularly if we lower it all down by one. With the exception of the campfire in the centre. I really do like that. I think it would work very, very well. Yeah, 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 I think we're going to do that. I'm going to leave this up here. Don't know where it is. Um, and it also solves where the paths have to go in um, because uh, we don't have to worry so much about where, where the paths have to go in because if you lower it down by one, we haven't got these stairs, which are blocking weight. We can just have paths going straight. So everyone would get easy access to the campfire. The water is only one floor up, so we have two two lots of water built there. Food would end up in a big barn, so we do want to unlock the large barn, well, uh, like the underground warehouses. Not yet, we don't have the resource for that. But they could go like here. So if we did these in a diamond pattern, so we've got one one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. Imagine. So that's that's the corner piece. And then there'd be five. So you've got a, a gap that's as big as that in between here, 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 and here. And then in those gaps could go food. Put a different food type. And that's 300 reed with five of it, which is quite nice. Or or we could put, as I said, like one here, put one more complex over here, put another complex over there. The only drawback with putting them in a round, dotted around places is, as I said, beavers don't pick jobs that are close to home. 
so they have to commute, which is a bit of a pain. Kinda wish there was a way to force them to pick houses so they'd move to houses that are close to the home, but they don't. They don't. They kind of just go, "Oh, there's an empty house. I will move into it." So, so a beaver could grow up in this area here as a kid, and then as soon as they become an adult, uh, they go, "Oh, I need a job. I'm going to get a job on this farm here. Great, but I'm going to move over here." So I'm going to have to come and commute every morning all the way out to here. And, and that does that does kill your productivity. Commuting absolutely kills your productivity. So um, you've got to be careful of that. So, but yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, I think we have a plan. I think we have a plan. It does require dynamite though. So let's get on the road to dynamite nice and early. So what do we need? How do we do dynamite? What do we, what do we what's the first sort of steps we need to get dynamite? So... We need the paper mill. Let's unlock the paper. I know for a 100% fact, we need the paper. Okay. Um, you are producing 100, you're producing 17 power and you need 117 power. Which makes sense because I think all the water is going this way. Because of this. No. But that's fine. That's fine. Um, we can also, once we get paper going, we can also build the windows, can't These require... Yeah, you know, paper planks and things. So, hmm. okay, okay. Um, another thing we can do as well is temporarily we could change up this. I think we're going to. I think we're going to change this up. There's nothing. Oh, oh there's you over here. Good for you. Where's the guy who works here? I oh, was there. Wait for night time. We'll wait for night time. We'll let him come back. We're going to break the dam, and then we're going to rebuild it. And we're going to do levees along here, and we're going to do six dams this side. So the water must go this side. And then we're going to put in some more water wheels. I said I wasn't going to use water wheels, but early on, I kind of want to until we get paper. Because we need paper for the big windmills. And we need scrap uh, iron, sorry, for the gravity batteries. So we want to unlock that. But that's... I can't get all materials. I can't get any planks, because you don't have the planks. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. This can't be built because it's too far away and we have no stairs going up here anyway, so I don't have to worry about having built. That's just reference what we're going to do. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, we need to run a path up there. And you can down off that area over there. And you can down off this here. I'm actually going to say, would you do this as a bit of a priority, please? Here. build this dam first and then, and then this one will get built afterwards which will be fine and then these will get built and then we'll change the dam up in front of here and then um, we'll send you back home you can go home for the night and then once you've gone home for the night we'll do the dam that'd be fine but let's speed up game and then everything will make sense and everything will be wonderful so yeah what do you think what do you think of this Bear in mind it will be one lower down, so there won't be this many pools, it will just have one one stack above. It will be one lower in the ground. And I think this is a good idea. I think the campfires are going to get a little bit swamped. They only deal with five visitors, whereas these deal with six. So we might want more campfires, but we have opportunity to put more in in other places as well. We don't have to do these in space. We can put campfires in around it as well, outside it if we want to. So. It can be modified slightly should it need to be. Okay, so I think we're going to leave this one here and uh, we will come back next time and carry on from there. We're going to modify this dam a little bit and uh, remove some things and do some things, but I'll just, oh, it's, it's just going to be remove some things, put some uh, levees back in and dams back in. Just we'll make it six wide instead of instead of what it is here to get those power walls to, to spin. So, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, as always, have fun.